Times a little sloppy, so either team can make a big run at any moment. Another turnover. Wilter sails in, missed the shot, stick back. It's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two with 147 to play. Another look at the block and then the follow up. Omayori using that 7 6 swing span to grab that rebound and take it back up. He hasn't been a factor to this point in the game. But I think as it, the game top 50 in the country, according to the ESPN ratings. Reverse layup shot for Niles Lane over top of two defenders. And a rejection at the other end. All right, here's Freeman. He's got 10. He's had the hot hand for the Irish. Terrell finds a cutter coming down the lane. Another big block. Some excellent interior defense by the center position. We have shot blockers on both teams as we see Omen Yori using that seven. And thus, no surprise, they're down 18. Yeah. Driving a runner. From the court. And another steal. Freeman, transition three. In and out, no good. Line prep. I wasn't expecting to see that. But they really are sharing the basketball well. And nice inside position. Love Day has to commit. Lay in. First field goal of the basketball game. And Huntington Prep switching to a 1 3 1 defense. And when you do that, roll. Baseball passes it ahead. Breakfield leans into a three. It's no good. Here they come. Like a tennis match. Deep three. Off the rim, no good. Omayori, too far out. C.J. Wilcher steps back for three. Omayori slams it through, almost. Uh... May slides down the lane, flips it off the glass. Up top, left alone, three in and out, no good. Trell trying to answer for Huntington Prep, could not. Nice Wilcher. pass. Beautiful feed. And Omayori is not. Oh, great, unselfish basketball. Anytime in transition, Travis, you want to get the ball to the middle of the floor. They found Wilcher, and then he had the heads-up play to draw the defense and then find Omayori, who I think he can finish the ball pretty easily. As Lalamir. Nice right, shot clock at 13 as the Lions try to cut deeper into that lead. And what a follow-up with authority. Oh, more you are. I think a lion has awoken, Travis. The We've lion been... is no longer sleeping <laughs> That's tonight, right? right? <laughs> and his name is Omen Yori. <laughs> and he's big, athletic, and has a seven foot six wingspan. Uh, just a wonderful kid who plays with great effort. And at one point in that third quarter, gets it back within 13. And Cliff Omen Yori, the thing you like about him, he's always around the rim. Uh, that's this game, staying close to the basket, going after rebounds. When his teammates penetrate and get by their man on offense, he's the benefactor of that from the help going over and him finding the basketball and finishing. He's had a triple-double already this year. It's a shame because Roselle Catholic came all the way back in a short spurt. Huntington Prep has regained control of the game. Hey, the 17, what a slam off the alley-oop. So I think he had his elbow above the rim on this one. But once again, great penetration and Omen Yori finishing with the flush. Goodness gracious. I think he's getting dunks and blocks and rebounds, which aren't going to be available as much in college. Floyd off on the pull up jumper. Omen Yori with another. They stepped on the gas, they got off the gas, and now they're back on the gas. Love day. Three down the middle is no good. Wilcher hands it off, and there's another dunk. And now we're having a conversation while they sort that out. Let's take another look. I was going to say, Omiyori's got six field goals in this game and four dunks. I think he we've was... seen Muhammad May, and I'm sure Zach Loveday also has benefited from that departure. And there's a.